everybody there, Dr. Kara of KH Evolution. I wanna take a moment today to talk a little bit about this pharmaceutical grade term that uh, many of us heard from doTERRA, from Dr. Hill and Dr. Oscar Thorpe at doTERRA's Evolve Convention this year. And I, as a registered nurse, I am particularly in the field of pediatrics, was very excited to listen to their presentation and really understand the direction that doTERRA is taking with their product line, particularly with their essential oils. So basically it comes down to this. I'm gonna give you the, the uh, Reader's Digest version, as they say, of, of all of the, the, what was presented around this concept at convention. So first of all, the research that has been done has been done with their lavender essential oil. And the research was primarily done through the University of Mississippi. And the, the entire premise of what has come from this research is that doTERRA's lavender essential oil has a consistency to it that uh, in dosing that no other essential oil on the market has. And so why is this important? Well, as a registered nurse, I delivered a lot of medications to a lot of people in the, the clinical setting. And when we are uh, learning about medications and we're learning about the delivery of medications, there's a few important and there's many important things, but there's a few important things that we tend to think about more often than not, or every time that we deliver that medication. And number one is the consistency. Is the consistency uh, of that medication enough so that we can depend on the action every time that it's given? So for example, if we deliver Tylenol to uh, a patient, we can, um, with security and uh, surety realize what exactly can we expect from delivering that medication. And if we don't get those results, then we know that we need to go back to the drawing board and look at other things, look at the, uh, the situation again, kind of critically assess. If we do get the actions that we are anticipating, which happens more often than not, thankfully, then we understand that we can, um, you know, we, we know that we're on the right track. And so when it comes down to the having the consistency with this particular product, such as Tylenol that I'm, I'm using the example of, we know every single time that we give Tylenol, we can depend on the fact that there are uh, certain actions that that drug is going to uh, deliver to ourselves as we are taking it or to a patient if we're delivering it in a clinical setting um, in nursing as I did. So when it comes back to this study on lavender essential oil, basically because of the efforts that doTERRA goes through in regards to sourcing all of their essential oils. Now, what does that mean? I'm going to keep it to the purity and the wide variety of areas that lavender is cultivated and the control that doTERRA has over who touches the oil, uh, the product, the, the lavender itself from field to bottle. It provides this purity that no other organization out there can pledge to. So that number one contributes to the consistency that we can see in the lavender essential oil. Um, and we look at the purity that speaks to the consistency. Now, when we go to define consistency, what does that mean? A pharmaceutical grade drug has to have a certain margin, meaning it has to uh, within one milligram uh, be consistently delivered in that pill 
in that um, liquid. So there has to be a, a consistent amount of active ingredient in each dose of pharmaceutical drug that's given or is put on the market. And so what, Do what doTERRA has found with the independent research at the University of Mississippi, as well as other um, prestigious places, is that their lavender oil over three to four years of consistent um, strenuous research, it has shown up again and again and again with this level of consistency of their two active ingredients within lavender oil that we reach to or we look to to deliver those consistent benefits every single time we use lavender oil, whether it's on an internal basis, a topical basis, or diffused in the environment of our home. So I just wanna clarify before I bring closure to this video, number one, we're not calling our lavender oil pharmaceutical grade. There is no uh, organization, um, particularly even the FDA that is regulating any of the doTERRA products. Therefore, we cannot label them as pharmaceutical grade. But what we are saying is that they match an equivalency in terms of their consistency and their potency and their deliverability in the same way that a pharmaceutical drug does. What does that mean? That means that the two active ingredients in doTERRA's lavender essential oil consistently show up in less than one milligram of, um, of diversion. And so there's less uh, discrepancy, if you will, than one milligram per uh, per dose for that lavender oil. This is huge because 90% of lavender oil on the market doesn't even contain lavender in it. It is all chemically derived and filled with chemicals, uh, toxins, and other um, uh, substrates that really are harmful possibly to our body rather than helpful. So there's no therapeutic value to 90% of the lavender on the market. And so we need to really take responsibility for what we are putting into our body, what we are putting on our body, and what we are breathing into our body. And so uh, doTERRA has taken that first step with lavender essential oil to really define and outline and uh, put the parameters down that their lavender essential oil measures up to consistency, potency, and purity of the same standards that we measure pharmaceutical drugs. And this, my friends, is the important thing that we need to know and understand about doTERRA essential oils. And that makes all the difference.